women will not allow enough people to legalize their status. We know this proposal will create a future uh, program of workers without rights and without benefits, even though they'll be working for this country. So that is why we're here. We are yo uh, we're here and, uh, as a broad coalition of organizations. Um, we're here as family. We're here as workers. We're here as students. Um, I'm going to now have Dae Ju, uh, from, uh, he's the executive co um, director at the Korean Resource Center, who is going to um, give us um, words in terms of where, why this is so important for us to change. 안녕하세요. Hello, everybody. Uh, 오늘 와주셔서 감사합니다. Thanks for coming out here today. Uh, 우리는 이민자들의 권익을 지키기 위해서 이 자리에 왔습니다. We are here to protect family immigration. We are here to protect our right. We've been marching, we've been marching, and we've been boarding, and we've been waiting so many years and years and years. But what we have in the Senate, the bill, it's, it's unbelievable, it's so disappointing, it's outrageous. It totally eliminates family immigration. It created an unworkable bureaucratic legalization program. In terms of family immigration, if you don't have high degree, if you don't have high skill, if you can speak English, you cannot be united with your family. Our immigrant family, this is a basic value, not just immigrant family, it's a value of this country and this society. When it comes to family, it doesn't matter whether you have college degree or PhD degree, whether you have high skill, whether you have, you speak English, it doesn't matter. My grandmother, my siblings, my parents, my spouse, we have a right to be united. We have a right to live together. This is our basic right, basic family right, basic human right. No one can take it away. No one can take it away. Senator Feinstein to play her leadership, to protect family, to protect American value, to protect our community. She has to play her leadership. We cannot wait any longer. Time is now. Time is now. In terms of also in terms of legalization, now they are talking about thousands of thousands of dollars. For example, family of four, they have to pay more than almost 15,000 or 20,000. And they have to go back to country in terms of Korean American undocumented immigrant, they have to go back to Korea. It might take eight years or 12 years. After all long, long waiting years and all those high fees, there is not guarantee. If you can speak English, if you don't have a degree, if you don't have high skill, there is a no guarantee you will get a legalization. This is unworkable, bureaucratic, inhumane legalization program. We gotta fix it. So we are here today to urge Senator. We have many organizations. And first of all, I'd like to introduce our grandma to protect her rights, to be reunited with her grandchildren and grandchildren uh, and son, children. He both came. She's a community member. She'll talk about why family immigration is very important. Hisukim, <laughs> Hisukim, H E S O K I M. Hello. Oh, I'm 86 years old. I came to this country in 1997, and in 2003, uh, I study, I try hard, and I became naturalized U.S. citizen. I came here because I was living in Korea and my daughter was living in the uh, United States. And I've been, many days, I've been waiting to be reunited with my uh, daughter who was living in the United States. That's why I came here, that's why I'm here today. 
내가 이제 한국 애들을 보고 싶어 갈라고 해도 다리가 아프고 몸이 이렇게 저기 해서 못 가고 있거든요 그래서 애를 초청을 하는 아무 기별이 없었는데 얼마나 기다려야 하는지 그래서 답답합니다 It was great that I uh, be united with my daughter who was living in the United States. But I also had another uh, concern because my children, they are living in South Korea. So two years ago, uh, I sponsored, sponsored them to be reunited with me. But I've been waiting, waiting, but nothing is happening. I'm still waiting. But I'm still waiting. But I'm still waiting. But I'm still waiting. 적체된 것도 저게 지금 지방 99년도까지 지금 아들 딸 초청하고 99년도는 앞으로 얼마나 기다려야 하는지 그게 궁금합니다. 그게 별뜻이면 빨리 그런 걸 적체, 토지 적체를 해결해주고 또 억대지, 가족 초청을 억대지지 말고 그런 게 필기를 위해서 여기를 나왔습니다. I'm not sure how many years I have to wait it. I have to be ready to reunite with my children. And also there are many families like me who want to sponsor their children, their grandmother, their mother, their siblings to be reunited with their family member. When it comes to love and family, we cannot calculate the point. We cannot calculate your love about your, about your, love about your children. It's about family, it's supporting each other. And I want to have better humane, uh, humane immigration from that protect family immigration. 지금 우리 아들 그 저기에서 초청하는 게그 오기 때문에 지방 손을 참 기다리고 있습니다. 그래서 이러고서 빨리 빨리 만나게 해주시기라고 지금 부탁 상원 의원한테 부탁을 왔습니다. I hope you can join me and support uh, my journey to be reunited with my children. Uh, also, many family who are in this same, uh, same situation. Thank you. We also have another senior leader, uh, Hibo Kim. Uh, next week, uh, she will be joining the Dream Across America. It's a 10 week, 10 days program uh, starting all over the United States. And then it's a uh, national train tour and all the community members, 100 dreamers, they'll be joining in DC and uh, all uh, elected officers to uh, introduce to work for humane better immigration reform. Hello, my name is my name is Hibo Kim. I'm active a volunteer at the Korea Resource Center. 그런데요, 저기 가족 초청을 하는 데는 짤, 어, 짧아도 4년 내지 20년이 걸린다고 하는데 아들의 얼굴을 보기 위해서 20년이라는 그 기간을 기다리는 건 말도 안 됩니다. 너무 너무 슬픈 비극입니다. Currently, to live with your children back in Korea, I, I, we need to wait. 4 to 10, 20, you never know, many, many years. It's such a sad and inhumane system that we have to wait to be re reunited with our loved children. There are many seniors, many immigrant family like me. We cannot just sit down and watch or give up. We have to play strong leadership, we have to participate. And that's why we are today to our Senator Feinstein to play a leadership, to work for family immigration, to stand up for our immigrant rights. 저를 위해서 그리고 다른 분들 지금 할머니 할아버지들이 많이 자손을 위해서 기다릴 사람이 많, 많을 것입니다. 그래 그런 사람을 위해서 여기 왔습니다. 이렇게 저 상원 의원님한테 적체 소리도 빨리 해결되고 또 이민법을 국제지 말게 해달라고 이렇게 부탁하러 왔습니다. 지가 여든 다섯 여섯이거든요. 그러니까 그 안에 언제 만날지 모르지. 지가 또 얼마나 살는지 모르잖아요. 그러니까 좀 하루 하루 종일 적체 소리를 좀 해결하게 해주라고 부탁합니다. In, in closing, uh, as I said, I'm 86 years old. I don't know how many days I can live. So this is my last hope to see my loved children to live with me. So to do that, we need to 
the right of the, we need to eliminate the backlog and we need to protect family immigration. It's not just for me, it's for everybody. Thank you. a pastor of La Placita Church. As I was listening to these two beautiful women speak in, I think Korean was? Yes, Korean. I was thinking that could be my grandparents or my great-grandparents from long ago uh, who came from Finland and from Germany and who came to this land for the same reasons people are coming today to seek opportunity where there is none in their own country of origin. We know that there is such a debate now over legal versus illegal immigration, but the facts are that there are not enough opportunities for people to come legally into the country and to be united with their families. And we are calling on Senator Feinstein and all of our elected re officials in, in Congress, especially in the Senate right now, to weigh very heavily the value of family unity because the family is the heart of the nation. Uh, not just one spouse or two spouses by themselves working without any type of um, protection for their labor rights, working without any support system. This country has always grown on the basis of families working together, sometimes entrepreneurs together, building a new life in this society. And as a pastor, I've seen the horrible implications of our current unjust legal, legal immigra immigration system which is separating through immigration raids and deportations. Spouses are being torn apart from each other in my own community and many communities across the country. And our parish is part of the new sanctuary movement to provide support and uh, sanctuary to uphold the value of the family, that parents should not be separated from their children and that we need to find legal avenues. We know that right now there's a debate in the Senate to weigh more heavily advanced levels of education and skills for uh, immigrants interested in immigrating, but I think that would have counted out a lot of our own ancestors who worked hard in the factories, who worked hard on the land, and he homesteaded the land or worked in the factories, and eventually gain those skills or their children gain those more advanced skills but the economy needs both lower skilled and higher skilled people and we should not um, eliminate the preference for family visas for family unification in our system um, our own sanctuary seeker at, at our parish, Our Lady Queen of Angels, collected 10,000 signatures for Diane Feinstein after our masses. <laughs> he, of course, would have liked to be here, but he's in sanctuary with us, and there are certain risks. So, so he is applauding us from afar. He is applauding us. His heart is with his community. Not just the Mexican community, but the Asian community, the European community, the African community who come here to immigrate and to build our nation. So Senator Feinstein, think seriously about family unity and not taking away the family preferences in our visa system. Murieta um, will be speaking to us about how this bill would actually impact her. Hola, buenas tardes. Comenzaré diciendo que quien pide respeto, que dé respeto. Si en Dios confías, demuestra que eres justo. Mientras se permita que otros sigan mejorando sus intereses personales, engañando y haciendo ver el poder enfermo como algo correcto, habrá quien justifique el combate del terrorismo con la guerra, el narcotráfico como una economía más que los enriquece y la migración de humanos como el efecto lógico de provocar pobreza, crisis social, familiar y cultural de otros pueblos. Hablo específicamente de Sudamérica y otros países. 
Mientras haya quien justifique la violencia física, mental y emocional, habrá leyes injustas que dividan familias y sociedades que cosechen para sus propios hijos crisis sociales futuras. Mientras haya pobreza y falta de oportunidades en, nuestro, en nuestros países y en cada pueblo, habrá gente que siga viniendo al país de las oportunidades. Países que ahora nos niegan la oportunidad de una vida mejor. Ahora, con una reforma que estamos pidiendo, que no venimos a que nos lo regales, que ya ha sido pagada con tantas vidas, te pedimos la eliminación de un sistema de puntajes con errores elitista que clasifica por condiciones de estatus educativo y social. Te pedimos la integración y bienestar de nuestras familias. Te pedimos la no esclavitud protegiendo los derechos de los laboradores, de cada uno que ha construido la carretera de este país, cada una de las ciudades que se ha construido en este país ha sido por un inmigrante, de cualquier país que sea. Paro total las redadas y todas las deportaciones que dividen familias, porque no merecemos esto, porque te hemos ayudado y porque somos el aliado de tuyo, no somos tu enemigo. Mira el de enfrente. Bye. Just to briefly summarize and I'll, I'll focus on her last words, which is that we're not asking for a gift, we're not asking for anything to be given to us. We're here because we have won, we have earned the ability to be in this country. That we have paid with every single way um, the legalization that we're asking. We're asking for the elimination of this point system that's only elitist and, and classifies its on condition of, of your well of, of wealth whether you come in. We're asking that you think about the well-being of our families and we they ask you not to create a program that will create new slaves. We ask you for a stop of these raids and the this, um, discrimination against our families. We ask you to do it now and to have a just for immigration reform. We are now going to be going to, um, uh, there's a delegation of us who's going to go in to speak with Senator Feinstein's representatives. Um, we will be taking with us petitions that were signed um, by Jose Santuario, that were collected by Jose Santuario uh, for today. And then the rest of us are going to keep picketing um, Senator Feinstein because she needs to hear. She needs to hear us and she needs to act upon our demands because this is what's right for the country. It's not just what's right for immigrants. It is what is necessary for this country in order for us to have a country that has values of justice, values of family, values that we can say are truly about human beings and not about machines that they seek for us to work. So we are here to say we're not going to rest until our demands are heard and more importantly we're not going to rest until you take action on our demands. So um, there's a delegation of us who are going to go up and um, I ask for them to gather and I'll bring the, the, um, all the paperwork to um, the letters. Nos vamos a reunir aquí, vamos a ir a entrar una delegación, pero vamos a seguir piqueteando aquí las oficinas de la senadora Feinstein porque nos tiene que escuchar y tiene que actuar sobre nuestras demandas. Thank you very much.
Elías, jamás será vencida. Familias unidas, jamás serán divididas. 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 Oh!